Hey everyone, Dr. Michael Nelson here, and today we are talking about the most common complication after cataract surgery. It's called posterior capsule opacification. Good optometry morning. Posterior capsule opacification, otherwise known as PCO, sometimes it's also referred to as postcapsular haze, and sometimes it's referred to as secondary cataract. This is the most common complication after cataract surgery. And when I say complication, I don't mean it as a bad thing, it's just something that sometimes will occur in a lot of patients after cataract surgery. Okay. So to understand how a PCO develops, it's important to understand what happens in cataract surgery. As a quick anatomy review, we've got the cornea on the front of the eye, you've got the iris, and then you've got the lens behind the iris. This lens is where we develop cataracts, and this cataracts develop when this lens goes from being clear to being cloudy. And that's what the surgeons remove and replace when they're doing cataract surgery. So during so cataract surgery, the surgeon's going to make a small incision in the cornea, they won't remove the cornea, but they'll enter in through the, uh, that small incision. They're gonna dilate your pupil so this opening's really, really large so they can get access to the lens that's located behind the iris. Now, this lens where the cataract develops, this lens sits inside what we call a capsule, and now the capsule is a clear bag which holds this lens in place. The cataract surgeon, when they do the surgery, they're gonna, first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna cut a hole not in your iris, your iris is very dilated, but they're gonna cut a hole in that clear capsule in that bag so they can get access to that cataract. Once they have an opening of that front of that capsule, they can go in with an instrument that breaks up the lens and sucks out all the little pieces of that cataract lens and pull them out. And then you're gonna be having remaining that capsule, that little bag, with an opening in the front and intact in the back. And then they're gonna take the synthetic lens and they're gonna insert that into that bag and so it sits in place and you can see clearly. So a PCO develops when there's a proliferation of lens epithelial cells. So what are lens epithelial cells? So lens epithelial cells are the cells that grow into parts of the natural lens. So the natural lens is actually growing throughout our lifetime, it continues growing, So it, and it develops from these little cells called lens epithelial cells, which keep re regenerating and regrowing. So part of the cataract surgery is when the cataract surgeon, they go in and they break up all that lens and that cataract and remove the cataract there will be little epithelial cells remaining. And so they work hard to try to clean out those little epithelial cells. They're gonna use a vacuum or an aspirator to suck out all those little cells to have a very clean capsule. And then they're gonna put that lens implant in place. However, those lens epithelial cells, they're really, really tiny. And so occasionally, there'll be a few that are stuck in little crevices or little cracks that the surgeon can't remove or can't see to remove. And what will happen over time is those lens epithelial cells will start to grow and they'll grow along the back side of that lens capsule and eventually they will start to cloud it over. And when it starts to cloud over, that's called posterior capsule opacification. And so basically what happens is that the back of that capsule is starting to become cloudy. And you're gonna end up with very similar symptoms as when you first started to develop your cataracts. So you're gonna notice your vision's gonna go blurry, you're gonna notice you're gonna get more glare, you're gonna notice that it's gonna become cloudy. And this is why it used to be referred to as secondary cataract or a second cataract because it felt like the cataract was coming back. We don't use that term anymore because it's not really accurate and it's a little bit confusing to patients because they think, oh, my cataracts are coming back, which your cataracts actually can't come back, it, but it will feel like they're coming back. So we will rather use a term called posterior capsular haze or posterior capsule opacification, which more accurately describes that that capsule is clouding over. So I said this is the most common complications after cataract surgery. So how common is it? Studies show that this will occur in 20 to 50% of people after cataract surgery. So up to half of people after cataract surgery can develop this complication. And when can it happen? 
It can happen anywhere from a few months after surgery to a few years after surgery. So, so if you notice that your vision is starting to get cloudy after cataract surgery, definitely check with your eye doctor and have them take a look and see if you might be developing this. So what do you do if you are developing PCO? Well, the treatment is relatively straightforward. So they're gonna deal with this by using a laser to cut an opening in that back of that lens capsule. And the laser that they're gonna use is called a neodymium YAG laser. And this laser is going to be focused on the back of that lens capsule and it's gonna cut a hole in that lens capsule and then you can see clearly again. The procedure for this YAG laser takes probably about 10, 15 minutes, and it's gonna be done in your eye doctor's office. You don't usually have to go to the hospital to have it done, and it can be done safely and relatively easily. And your vision is restored quite clearly after it. If you are developing cloudy vision, blurred vision, halos, glare, or something that feels like the cataract is coming back, after you've had cataract surgery, make sure you go see your eye doctor and they will take a look and perhaps you might have PCO and they might be able to easily deal with it. So hopefully this information about PCO is helpful to you. I'm curious if you've ever had a YAG laser done on you. Please leave a comment below. Tell me about your experience and how that went for you. And with that, I wish you a good optometry day.